I'm Chris Mather, I'm the um, mechanical recorder for North Northumberland and I've just been looking at these marvellous bluebells which are of course the UK's archetypal spring flower and they're very important for us because we hold about 50% of the world population of these beautiful bluebells. There are bluebells found in other parts of the world and in Europe but they're not it's quite the same species as ours so let's have a look at them because they're really important plants for us and they're absolutely archetypal spring plants now so what makes a native bluebell a native bluebell well the first thing is that if you look at the shape of the plant itself you'll see that all the flowers are hanging down one side of the stem they're all on this low side and now up here there's one so it's the first thing is the general shape of the plant and foreign bluebells, alien ones, have on the whole the flowers standing up. But also the individual flowers, there's one, have a tube which makes up most of the flower, quite a long tube and it curls back and the sides of the tube are almost parallel. And once again that's Typical of our native bluebell. Its Latin name is Hyacinthus non scriptus. No, it isn't. It's Hyacinthoides non scriptus. I'll cut that out. And the third thing, and here of course I've got to use my hand lens, my favourite favourite hand lens, is to look inside the flower and the anthers, the male parts, produce the pollen. In this plant, a white, creamy white colour, and that tells me again that this is a native bluebell. If this was uh, a garden bluebell, Spanish bluebell, or a hybrid bluebell, they would be blue, bluish. So this is a lovely native bluebell, and there are swathes of them here, and it's just a lovely, lovely thing to see.